Hi, my name is Carlos, and today we are going to make video calls super simple. You might have used tools like Google Meet or Zoom, but now we are talking about Microsoft Teams. No worries, if you have never used it before, I'm here to show you how to use Microsoft Teams to set up meetings with anyone, whether it is your work colleagues, clients, or just catching up with friends and family. Now, here's the thing, sometimes you don't get to pick the tool for your video calls. You might get an invite, for example, and that's the tool they are using. Or you just want to please people who attend your meetings. So it is good to know how it works. But don't worry, we're going to keep it super easy. Think of it as a handy skill to have in your toolkit. And by the end of this, you will be a Microsoft Teams Pro. First, Microsoft Teams is a collaboration platform that combines chat, video conferencing, file sharing, and productivity tools designed to help teams work together seamlessly. All right, it is enough talk. Let's learn the basic of Microsoft Teams together. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start by having a look to a Microsoft Teams invitation. We have here an email with an invitation, and it looks something like this one. You will see the date of the meeting, the time, the name of the meeting, and you can confirm your attendance to the meeting by clicking here on Yes. When you click on Yes and confirm the assistant to the meeting, it will be added to your calendar. In this case, my Google Calendar would be updated. If you are working with a Microsoft account, it will update your Microsoft Calendar. It could be a Microsoft 365, a Outlook, or a Hotmail account, for example. If I go to my calendar, on the upper right corner, I will be able to see the event, I mean the meeting, and if I click on it, I will see the details of the meeting, including the link to access the meeting. This link is also included in the email that I receive as an invitation. Within my email, I can scroll down and I can see that it is a Microsoft Teams meeting and I will find the link here to join the meeting. The day of the meeting you can go directly to your calendar and you will find the link on the event. And you can also look for the email that you received with the invitation. It is your choice, whatever works best for you. Now, if you are organizing the meeting, you can access Microsoft Teams. It could be the desktop app or in the browser. To create a meeting or video call, you will need a Microsoft account. It could be a free Microsoft account like Outlook.com or Hotmail, or you can also use your Microsoft 365 account. I'm going to access now Microsoft Teams from the browser. I need to access my Microsoft account. Here, I already log in. This is a free account with Outlook.com. And to access Teams, on the left, I will find the Teams icon. If you don't find it here, you can always click on the nine little dots on the upper left corner, and you will find the icon here, Teams. So this is Microsoft Teams within the browser. If you have installed the app, you can also open the app within your computer. For example, I have it here, and they look pretty much the same. However, the Teams app on your desktop provide more features than the one that you can find in your browser. In my example, I'm going to use Microsoft Teams in my browser. Now, if I want to create a meeting, I can access the calendar by clicking here on the left and on the upper right corner. I will find these two buttons, Meet Now, which will allow me to create an instant meeting. And also I will have this one, New Meeting. This will let me schedule a new meeting and I can decide what time and date I want to create this meeting for. Let's now click on New Meeting. It will display the form to enter the information about the new meeting. I can enter a name for the meeting, and I will enter the email addresses for the people that I want to invite to the meeting. Down below, I will enter the date and the time. I can specify how long that meeting will take. If it is going to be a regular meeting, for example, every week, you can select here and mark it as weekly. You will be able to select which day of the week is going to take the meeting, and if you have a date when the meetings will end, you can mark it here. Save it. We can add the location for the meeting, 
and we can add a description. Since I'm creating this meeting with a free account, I have this important note here. With your current team's plan, you get up to 60 minutes per meeting with up to 100 participants. Your email address, which is my email address for this account, will be used to send the meeting's invites. Once you have completed all the information for the meeting, you will be able to click on Send. At this moment, if you like, you can click here and you will be able to copy the link for the meeting. I'm going to close here. And if I look at my calendar, I will see the meetings is already saved here as an event for this Wednesday. When I click on the event, I will be able to join the meeting from here by clicking join and you can also click on the link. The people that I have invited will receive an email. I have now entered the email of one of the person that I invited to the meeting. I have here the invitation, sales meeting, if I click here. The first thing that I see is the name of the meeting, the date and time. I will be able to confirm right away if I will be able to attend. I'm going to click here. Yes. Within my account, I can go to the calendar and I will find the event right here. Sales meeting. If I click on the event, I can join the meeting directly from here by clicking join. Let's go back now to the Microsoft account where I created the invitation. The day of the meeting, I will click on the event and I will click on join. Microsoft Teams will ask permission to access the microphone and the camera. I can click on allow. And before entering the meeting, I can check the Microsoft and the camera. I can turn the camera on and I can make any adjustment to my camera. Then I click on join and I will find different controls within Microsoft Teams. For example, on the top right, I will find the control to access the chat, to see the people that is on the meeting. I can raise my hand, I can react, I can accommodate my window. At any moment, I can turn off my camera and I can mute my microphone as well. There are some additional controls that I have here on the three dots where it says more and I will find meeting information where I will be able to copy the link of the meeting and I also will find additional settings. By clicking here on device settings, I can select what speaker or headphone I will use, also the microphone. If I have more than one microphone connected to my computer, I will be able to select it from here. It will be the same for the camera. If I have more than one camera, I can select the camera that I want to use for the meeting. By clicking here again on more settings and settings, I can select meeting options. In this section, we can decide who is going to bypass the lobby. The lobby is the place where people will stay before entering the meeting. If I want the people enter direct to the meeting, we just leave this option here. You can also select here who will be able to present or share their screen. It could be everyone or only myself. I'm going to turn on my camera again. At this time, I'm just waiting for the other participants to join the meeting. Let's have a look to the email address of one of the other participants. Now within the inbox, I will find the invitation. And if I scroll down, I can find the link here. Click here to join the meeting. And I'm going to join the meeting right now. The participant will be presented with the options to open Microsoft Teams, the app, or just using the browser. I'm going to cancel here and I'm going to click continue on his browser. Now I'm going to switch as the presenter. At this moment, the other participant has joined the meeting. However, it is waiting in the lobby. It needs to be admitted and only the organizer in this case will be able to do it. I will click here and the participant will join the meeting. As we can see here, the other participant is a different version of myself. Any participant will be able to control his camera and his microphone. For example, I can turn off the camera. During the meeting, the presenter will be able to share their screen by clicking here on the upper right, and we can select what we want to share. 
in this case, I will be able to share the browser, a specific window, or the entire screen on my computer. If I am presenting or showing a video, I can control the audio of the media by clicking here. Let's say, for example, that I'm going to share a tab on my computer. I'm going to select this one and click on share. At this moment, the participants are able to see my screen. If I want to stop sharing at any moment, I will have this control here, stop sharing. And then I can go back to the meeting. I have it here on the next tab. And then I can turn on my camera again. At the end of the meeting, I can click here, leave meeting. By clicking here, I can select end meeting. So far, all the options that we have seen here are the options that you can use with a free Microsoft account. Let's see how it looks when I'm using a Microsoft 365 account, a business account. I'm going to end the meeting. Click on end. I'm going to access my account within the browser. This is a Microsoft 365 account. And I'm going to open Microsoft Teams in the browser. I'm going to access another meeting that I created before. I will be able to join. I still have the basic controls that I had with the free account, but I will find additional controls. Like for example, background filters. I will turn on my camera and now I'm able to access background filters. These are cool features. For example, I will be able to blur my screen. This is something not available on the free account. I can also change the background. I can select different type of background that are preloaded within Microsoft Teams. I'm going to select this one. It looks pretty cool, right? You can also upload your own backgrounds and use them for your meetings. Let's now join the meeting. This background definitely looks more relaxing. I think I like it. Now, additional feature that is available with this account is when you click on share, you will be able to share not just your screen, but also you will be able to use the Microsoft whiteboard. You can also share directly a PowerPoint presentation, or you can also share directly from Excel or any other app. This facilitates your work when you are presenting within a meeting. Let's click on more and you will be able to record your meeting. If we were using the Microsoft Teams apps, we could even have more features. Like, a, for example, breakout rooms. When you have a meeting and you want to separate people by groups, you can use the breakout rooms. At any moment, you can rejoin the groups. As we saw before, if we want to leave the meeting or the meeting has ended, we can click here and click on End Meeting. Now, I'd like to hear from you. Do you have any comment or questions? Put it here down below so all can benefit from them. If you like this video or find it useful, feel free to subscribe. Maybe consider supporting the channel by using the super thanks button. Thank you for watching and see you next time.